First Christmas inside the Methodist Church adjacent to Green Market Square in the Cape Town CBD. The refugees have been taking shelter in the Central Methodist Church on the square since the end of October. They've been evicted from, the, from outside the offices of the UN High Commission for Refugees. Our reporter Mariska Buata is there. Let's cross live to her now. Mariska, oh, there you are. Mariska, welcome to the agenda and tell us, give us, just capture the mood there for us because, you know, we've been building up to this day with a lot of tragedy that's been happening, having seen these xenophobic attacks that has displaced people and actually has exposed South Africa as a xenophobic country to other countries. Just capture the mood for us there and tell us what's been happening. Yes, good morning to you. We are standing outside the Central Methodist Church on Green Market Square, where, as you said correctly, around 600 refugees has been taking shelter since October this year. Uh, they were evicted from in front of the UN High Commission for Refugees. It's just across the corner of, uh, from where we stand. I'm just going to step out of shot for a moment so my colleague uh, Trevor Pistorius can show you. This is the church, and this is where people have been taking shelter. Now, inside at the moment is a Christmas Day sermon that is taking place by the Methodist this church and uh, per agreement with the um, church uh, the refugees have agreed when it's uh, church time on Sundays and on special days like today they do vacate the church so that uh, the faithful can come in and, and listen to services inside the church uh, is many a Cape Townian and visitors and tourists but actually not many of the refugees who take shelter there uh, there are lots of different faiths uh, uh, among the different groups of refugees many are Muslim themselves uh, some of them are Christian and then of course there are other faiths as well uh, but not many of them are currently inside the church taking part in uh, the Sunday uh, the Christmas Day uh, church sermon uh, as you rightly said the cond conditions here are horrible for people um, they live inside the church they take shelter there but a lot of their lives are taking place on the streets here outside the church uh, people cooking cleaning there and as you may well know is that the city of Cape Town approached the Cape Town High Court for an interdict uh, to request that their bylaws be upheld, uh, asking specifically that people do not do their ablutions, that they don't do washing or cooking or cleaning on the streets. And of course, the court had issues with that, and that case has been postponed to January. The court saying that they view this matter as a crisis and an emergency. Uh, the city uh, indicated that they don't have emergency shelter uh, for the group of refugees, and the refugees asked uh, for shelter for between one and four months. So that matter will continue in January when we will hopefully get an outcome and some clarity for the refugees as to what the next step for them are and where they will be going. Uh, but right now there is a Christmas sermon taking place inside. The faithful are inside and as I've said not many of the refugees are participating in the church sermon as there are many faiths gathered here today and of course today is uh, specifically focused on the Christian faith as it is the celebration of the birth of Christ. Mariska, tell me have you been able to speak to the church council on how long are they able to sustain the uh, giving haven to, uh, a safe haven to the refugees because as as you've spoken the, the which i think is an irony that government would seek a court to help them move refugees i don't know where but what has the church council said about how long they are able to house uh, the refugees we see behind you Look, the church stepped in and they offered people immediate shelter right after they were evicted from uh, the building where they were protesting in front of asking to be taken to safe countries because according to them South Africa isn't safe for them anymore, saying that they've come under xenophobic attacks and they don't feel safe. The church has given them shelter, uh, but a few weeks ago the church has indicated that fire services has, has indicated to them that it's a fire risk and a health risk for people to be staying under these conditions. and in fact, in fact, the leader of the group, Jean-Pierre Balouz, has also said that this is definitely not ideal conditions for people to be staying under. Uh, the church can only accommodate so many people, there's only so many ablution facilities. So um, he's the leader, he's the only one that usually speaks to us as the media. Not many of the refugees are willing uh, to talk to us, they rather refer us to, to him as the leader of the group. Him too saying that this situation is absolutely not ideal for people to be living under. And uh, the main request
always, and, and they maintain this, is that they want to go to other countries. Um, there were, in the beginning, there were reports that they requested to be moved to Canada, but of course Jean-Pierre Balouz has disputed that, saying that's not true at all. They would go to any other country that would have them. At one stage they said they would be walking from Cape Town to countries like Namibia and Botswana, uh, but of course we saw that a small group of, of refugees from Pretoria side uh, did start walking to uh, Namibia, but when they got there, uh, they were turned away. And of course, this is also something that uh, upset the leader, Jean-Pierre Balouz, greatly, uh, saying that um, South Africa is responsible f for that and souring uh, the relationship that the refugees might have had there. Now, whether or not that, that, that's true, we don't know. We don't know if there were talks between the two countries about the situation. But what we do know is that the people who live here themselves say these conditions are not ideal. And the church has also said it is something that cannot be maintained because of the health risk and because of the fire risk that um, exists at the moment. Mariska, we're going to leave it there for now. Thank you very much. That's Mariska Bota, my colleague, joining us live from Cape Town, where we see refugees who are now outside the Methodist Church in the Cape Town CBD site. That's not pretty for a special day like this. Let's take, let's take a short...